What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. I'm over set up in Newburgh, Indiana today, so hopefully uh, we'll see how that goes. Went to the Midwest Monster today up in Indy, and it was a 350-table show. Uh, it was packed. It was hot in there. I will say there was a lot of big cards in there, and I'll be really surprised if any of those move unless it's trade or something like that there. Uh, for what I noticed being there from like noon to 5, 530 was, you know, most people that were spending, if you want to talk about bigger money, was like three to six hundred dollars range from what I've seen. But again, I wasn't through every 350 tables all day long, so other stuff could have moved. Um, we had some YouTubers up there. Uh, you'll probably see their videos. And... That's really about it. I'm going to cut to the video clip and then I'll come back, show you what I got, and I'll talk a little bit about the show. Alright guys, like I said, uh, it was really cool going up there. I got to see a lot of dealers I haven't seen for a while, people I haven't seen in a while. Uh, you know, all prior to COVID and stuff, so it was really, really good uh, just to see those people be able to talk and stuff like that up there. Met some of the people that watch the YouTube videos, follow me on Instagram, stuff like that, which is always cool to do because then you get to have like kind of like a uh, face with the whatever you want to call it, screen name or whatever they call it nowadays, handles. So that that was really good up there. A uh, lot of tables, all the same type of cards going through. And I know a couple people asked me up there what would be my best advice to anybody out there. And I said, stay away from cards that you see at every single table. That would be my best advice for anybody. When I walk around, I look for where, especially in like 350 tables, if I only see a card that's at one table, it kind of interests me. If I see it at every table, it doesn't interest me. Uh, I will say hockey, very overpriced up there, except for one, which I did pick up. And I do thank them very much. I'm going to have to dig in my bag real quick because he gave me a give me thing and I want to show it off because it was really cool that they did that. If I could find it here, maybe... Sort of. Who knows? Might not. Oh, there it is. Alright. Sorry guys, I was almost prepared because I was trying to get everything ready for the show still for tomorrow. And I wanted to get this video out today. Alright. Uh, some of the other stuff that I noticed right off bat out there was a lot of window shoppers talking. Which is always calm at these shows. There was a trade night tonight which I, just, I didn't stay for. I don't know if my buddy went up with me. Uh, if he, he went to trade night, I'll have to ask him about it. I think he's look walking the show tomorrow, too. Value bins were horrible, all except for one person's in there. He had so much. I spent an hour and a half going through stuff. I had a big... I was going to go huge on his stacks. And I'm like, what am I doing? Don't go huge. <laughs> you know, you've been spending way too much money right now. And things have been slipping down, down, down. So... I, had to, I, had to, I guess you could say refrain a little bit onto that. 
The only thing I could say up in here now, they did have a little concession thing. Hot dogs were four dollars. A chicken fillet sandwich for six. I mean, I know they got to make money, but I, I wish they would had like maybe like pizza or something like that up in there too. Something a little bit different. I, I just don't know how they did it. I mean, it was a lot of work to put it together. I, I applaud him for it because they had cops inside, cops outside. Uh, they had people out there directing the flow of traffic for parking. They had the golf carts out there to wheel people back and forth in the heat. I, I really got to applaud. It was a lot of work. He did a lot of advertising to put that all together. Uh, definitely, it, it exceeded what I thought it would be going up there. It exceeded it. I will say that. All right, I'm going to show you guys the pickups here. It won't be too long a video. I don't think it was because I don't think I had that much footage. I was trying to do more still shots because there was people bumping me every which way. So I did pick a second one of these up. I forgot to case it in a new case. I just found it in my bag. So some Jordan stuff that I picked up. These were all like a buck a piece. <laughs> I mean, Jordans for a buck, they're in pretty good shape. Can't really say no to. You guys know me with Jordans. I'm going to go through my binder and see what I have tons of because I'd have no idea. This was all part of this bargain bin thing that I went through for a long time. Uh, Heinz Ward, top's finest rookie with a pill on it. Something different, Steeler fan. The Elite Series Brett Favre. I had a double take on this because I thought these were a number and they were out of 10,000. I don't really see these a lot so I picked it up. It was cheap. Matt Ryan rookie, which will be something for out here since he's... Uh, out here as a quarterback. SP Authentic Durant Rookie. This is gradable. So it probably got to be graded down the road. Brady. This is from uh, Rookies and Stars. I told somebody it was Absolute on the phone. I don't remember who now. My bad. But it's out of 750. They just have like that little film thing in it. Pretty cool. Really good shape compared to what I've seen these in. I said, what the heck? We'll roll with it. Tom Brady Bowman Chrome. This is 05. Maybe 06. I can't really tell. My eyes are strained. Found this in the band. <laughs> Tops Platinum Devontae Adams rookie. I'm like, really? Another Elite Series. This is a Legends. These were numbered lower. Out of 1,500. Really cool. Some of the stuff you guys will see on Whatnot. I will probably not be on Whatnot this weekend. I am beat. I'm not lying. I still got to do a show tomorrow. If I do Whatnot... I will post a video, but it'll be a late night Sunday thing. I'm thinking about just doing Friday overtime and then doing a late Saturday one. Okay, Terrell Owens. Uh, this is a uh, Prestine. Yeah, I think it was Prestine. I gotta look see if it was rookie year. Somebody was talking about that, but it was a patch. I mean, found in the, in the dollar boxes, so it couldn't really beat it. O2. I have to look now. I don't know if that is his rookie. I thought it was 97 was his rookie. Uh, Strahan, jersey piece there from Bowman Sterling. Eli and Tiki, something you don't really see much. Dual. Triple of Chris Henry Lynch, but I got mostly for Peterson from SP back in the day. Triple threads. Pretty cool stuff. I mean, like I said, it was all in the cheap boxes. Yeah, it came up to a price. He went way lower than even what I was going to pay. And I'm like, cool. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the good stuff. Two, this is one deal here. Okay. This is all from one table. I saw this and I haven't seen many of these. And I know it's Kyrie Irving. These were done from the all-star jersey things that they wore that year. I think they changed them. Was it quarterly or halftime? But it nowhere on here says if it was game-worn, player-worn, nothing like or it's a relic or whatever. But I remember, I think these were given out at an All-Star game. Quote me if I'm wrong. Somebody might know about this more than me. I mean, I found a Wiggins one like this sold for like $38. I know Kyrie sells more Wiggins, so I picked it up for the price. Well, it kind of was like a throw-in with one of the car at the end. Sean Kemp, select rookie. Oh, I'm a fool. I put Prism in when I Googled for this guy earlier. <laughs> Trying to find for a price. I didn't realize it was select. Shows how smart I am at the show. Man, it's just not showing up. Might be there one touch. I didn't change it out into a newer one. There we go. Kind of cool. Sean Kemp brings back memories. One I wanted to get, 
I wanted to pick one up for this guy, and I kind of wanted to stay cheap, and I did. So this is out of 50 from Phoenix, Mac Jones. Jay Verts, you broke this, buddy. If you guys ever want to break football, JJ does a good job. He's on Facebook, I think, mostly. Check him out. Tell him Extreme sent you if you want to break with him. Real good guy. And I knew this was a clean card, so I picked it up. Out of, like I said, out of 50. I have a little faith in him, but I wanted to get something of him just in case down the road. And it was cheap. I'm not going to go out and buy like an iMac, NT, Flawless, or Contenders and pay out the butt. I figured I'd go cheap and have something just in case down the road. Huh, that's cool. These one touches are just spinning because the magnets. All right, this was the card <laughs> that I have not seen. I've seen them on eBay, and I stay away because I'm always afraid of getting one that's going to be screwed up off of eBay, right? Walk by a table. Buddy's in front of me. I'm like, oh, Yager Auto, stop. He just keeps going. This is from uh, Bowman, yeah, Bowman's Best. You can see the autograph certified. Yager in a Penguins jersey. Don't really see much of this stuff. I had to get it. Cool card. Probably be off the grade. Probably be a 9, maybe an 8. Who knows? Maybe a 10 if I'm lucky. I didn't really look it over that well. But I knew enough to where I was like, yeah, I like this card and the condition it's in. Because they're hard to find. And I'm always afraid of getting them on eBay because people don't take really good pictures. And this was was phenomenal, the price they gave it to me for. So, And it came from... They gave me a stand, too. I like these stands. They are called... Greeny Sports Cards. If I can get it to show. There you guys go. Look them up, man. They, they did real good on working anybody prices up there. Actually, a guy that bought for me before told me to go see him after I already bought the Yager. So, really happy with that, though. Out of all things up there that I did not think that I would see was a Yager Auto. Especially the Penguins jersey. I mean, like I said, the hockey was high. He only had like a couple hockey cards in there. I was like, oh, I got to get this. If I'm buying anything today, this is the card. So, overall, like I said, pretty good show. A lot of stuff you don't see. A lot of big stuff. 10, 20, 30, 40,000 dollar plus cards there. I just don't see those moving up there unless it's trade or trading cash. But a lot of stuff I've seen people buying, you know... Anywhere from, you know, the cheap stuff, but like single cards, $100 to like six, seven hundred max. I'm sure there's people that sold, you know, bigger cards out there. I just didn't see them at all. All right, guys. Again, really happy with the show. He did a good job putting it on. A lot of, a lot of small things that i seen. I was like, wow, he really dug in to do a good show up here. And I mean, being the first show, he's just going to learn to grow from there. So, if you guys ever see the Midwest Monster and want to come out to it for the weekend, it, it was worth it. I mean, 10 bucks to get in. Uh, hotels were expensive, but if, maybe if we all, if I get enough people interested, we'll get like the same hotel somewhere and do like a trade night and I'll run out like one of those little conference rooms or something. We'll look at that though. Maybe like next year's Midwest Monster or something. But, all right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Catch y'all next one.